And now Brennan and Austin are getting ready to present their pitches to the judges. Hi, I'm Brandon. Hi, I'm Austin. And we are doing a mystery film. Um, our logline is an older brother loses his younger brother, and throughout the process of finding his younger brother, he realizes that he really cares about him. And uh, the setting takes place in a house. Um, you know, their house, obviously. <laughs> um, so the beginning is, you know, the younger brother wants to be just like the older brother and be his best friend, and, you know, he really looks up to him. And the older brother's like, no, I don't, no, I don't like you. You know, they, this is some sibling rivalry. Um, and the beginning is, you know, uh, the younger brother comes and he's like, hey, let's do this, let's do that, come on, let's go play. And the older brother's like, no, no, go to bed, I don't like you. Nobody likes you, you're annoying. And so the younger brother's all sad and he goes to bed and the older brother's like, oh, finally, like, I don't like him at all. And then the next day he wakes up and he goes in there to wake his younger brother up too. And uh, he's looking all around, the room's a mess, the window's open and he's like, what's going on here? And he looks on the bed and the younger brother's not there. Yeah, and so that's when the actual mystery starts to take place. And the audience is now wondering as well, where is this brother? And so he's looking everywhere, and he looks in the closet, calls his friends, because maybe he doesn't know if he actually went to bed. His friends say no, his parents say no, so now he's actually starting to worry. And as he's looking, he's just imagining some things, just, oh, what if this happened, what if that happened? And he was just like searching around the house, about to now just go outside and look for him, when he sees some photos, and uh, in quite a few of them, there's a teddy bear that his younger brother just always has, and he knows the teddy bear. And he recalls back in his room, there was a teddy bear, just barely, barely seen, but you could make it out, up, just hiding outside the sheets. And so he goes back up there, and he just pulls open the sheets, and there's his brother sleeping. And he's like, oh, thank heavens. And so he just hugs him, and he's like, I'm glad you're here, bro. And, well, silent film. But, <laughs> and so the brother's just like acting all weird. What's wrong with you? <laughs> you're weirdo. And so then we'll cut there. And that's our movie. Hmm. All right, and let's hear some feedback from our judges. So the, I think there's, there's no doubt in my mind that that could be told in a three-minute film. Um, I'm curious as to um, in what ways, what, what is your expectation that the audience should be left with? What is that feeling they should be left with? Um, how will you make that clear that the brothers okay with that, um, so I'm a, a little bit unsure of what, what I should be, how do I get involved with the story at the end? Yeah. Um, I, I, I realize it may be obvious, but I'm a little curious as to should we be a major harp you know, tug, or are they gonna go right back into their, their antics, you know, their, their interest, their little relationship? Well, within three minutes, it may be uh, a tad hard to really get into your heart. Mm -hmm. like a two-hour movie does. Mm -hmm. But yeah, I think we could probably do it. Yeah. Mm -hmm. um, I think you've got a, a few good components in there, uh, but I would, I would rethink some things simply because uh, I, I don't know that you're showing any way that the older brother is feeling connected to the younger brother on why he's having this longing to have him back. Um, but you touched on a very interesting thing about the, these pictures and I don't, uh, the, the pictures kind of came out of nowhere. They just were a happenstance that there were pictures and then there was the teddy bear and he goes back and he finds his brother. Maybe something where if you, if you set it up very, very quickly in the beginning where the brother does go missing and you have things like police officers, something like that. If you can, you know, that, that wouldn't be too bad to do, but you could have them in interviewing the parents. They don't, there doesn't have to be any kind of talking, but this brother can be removed from all of that. And maybe he goes and opens up a family album or there's a family album there. And he goes through, if he sees pictures of what are his brother and he starts having this tie and this connection, maybe it's something like his brother is hiding out in a tool shed outside because he was hurt by his brother you know, pushing him away and doing all that, but some something that that feels harsher and but allows them to feel more connected. It 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 didn't really feel like there was any connection there when when you did it. it was it, it was kind of like here's this thing and then and then it happily ends. Does that make sense? Yeah. Um, 
Well, mystery is, mystery is good because uh, mystery can involve tension, which I think is an easy, easier kind of emotion to portray. I like the way in which the younger brother and the older brother, I, th I think you really need to probably explore that dynamic a little more to make it really see, see the older brother shugging off the younger brother so as the older brother realizes what he's missed when he's, when he's not there. And I, I um, Deb Martin was talking about that, you know, the, the photo albums, the kind of flashback kind of ideas of things they could be doing together, what, what is going wrong there. And um, yeah, it, it does seem to get a little bit confusing. And I was unclear on the end. So the younger brother is, is not happy or he's kind of like, He's nonplussed. I couldn't get a read on where you were particularly yeah. going at the end because, uh, you know, and I don't think there's that many really super, super sad movies where it ends up and nobody's happy at the end because the older brother wants to be friends and the younger brother doesn't. So a little bit of clarity at the end might, might tie it up, up nicely, but um, I think it's a good idea. Actually, I think it's a good idea and will work, definitely. Thank you. All right, awesome feedback, judges. Thank you so much, and great story, guys. We'll be moving on to our next group of Lem, KT, and Maria next.